I think it's important to test for PDL1 status. PDL1 is a fairly good predictive outcome of immune checkpoint inhibitors. So in order to select the right treatment for a particular patient, PDL1 testing is, is really important. But other things also goes into the, the sort of the evaluation as we try to determine a, um, a, a proper treatment for a particular patient. Now, an, an issue that we really have not resolved is what is the cutoff when is a patient a good candidate for checkpoint inhibitor treatment, and when is the PDL1 expression too low? I think we have seen many different cutoffs in clinical trials. Uh, it appears that a, a minimum cutoff of 1% is, is certainly uh, something that we can use. It's also quite clear that if we raise the bar, we will be even better at selecting uh, checkpoint inhibitor treatment for patients. I think it's quite clear that PDL1 status predicts the outcome of checkpoint inhibitors. So the higher the score, the better the outcome can be expected. And that's uh, not related to toxicity. So a patient who has a high PDL1 expression has a better chance of a chance of a good outcome, but does not have an increased risk of toxicity. So the benefit for the patient really has a lot to do with the particular expression within the tumor of this particular patient. Immunotherapy has become an additional treatment option for our patients with pretreated uh, advanced non-small cell lung cancer. We have seen in two really large trials that there is a relation between the PDL1 expression and the efficacy of anti-PD1 antibodies. And this we have seen predominantly in patients with advanced non-squamous non-small cell lung cancer and patients with pretreated adenocarcinoma. In my practice, when I do have a pretreated patients with adenocarcinoma, I would like to see the PDL1 expression status. I would like to test my patient for the PDL1 expression status because this is one additional instrument for my selection of treatment. So if I would have a patient in a good shape with a clear PDL1 negative tumor, I also would think about giving this patient first a chemotherapy as a second-line treatment option.